The lightweight class had a new leader yesterday as Chileco Lopez hit the front again to head it all by just 12 minutes. The name of the game today was to avoid getting punctures as those who lost the most yesterday had flats. Third on the stage and only 70 seconds back of the winner after three and a half hours of running was Mikel Goschal, the pole making hay while others were a little cautious. And he holds fourth overall tonight. Winner of the stage was Sergei Karyakin, runner-up last year in the lightweight class and previous Dakar winner on a quad, showed it was tight at the top with just a 29-second margin of victory to Alula. Khalifa Alatir was fourth into the bivouac on an ultra-competitive day as 20 minutes covered 20 crews over 212 miles. You lifted for a moment, you lost a place. He's 10th overall as a rookie. Wise Al, Rinaldo Varela remains in a comfortable fifth with two days to go. The Brazilian with quite a gap between Goshal in front of him and Hinojo behind him. Domzala led three days ago, but with bad luck through gearbox and tyre woes, dropped a third. He's not giving up as he finds the balance between speed and not breaking the car, and tonight he holds that third on course for a podium. Austin Jones had to avoid the dust as he hung it out for second on the stage to gain just over two minutes on the overall lead of this rally. Everyone from Arizona is glued to this showdown. Avoiding punctures yesterday, the rest of the field were in awe of how Chileco Lopez dodged the flat tyre bullets. But today he was just a little off the pace to Jones. This is going to be an absolute thriller to the line. A really difficult stage with a lot of dust. In the final part, we pushed a bit harder to catch up some time, but tomorrow it's far more important. So I'll be pushing tomorrow to have a good day. Overall, Chaleco Lopez leads by 10 minutes ahead of Jones, Domzala in that third ahead of Goshal and Varela.